One of the cooler outfits you can unlock in this game is so easy to do is definitely worth the time. It will be based off the house that you choose. The one you can see here is the house Slytherin cloak. And when you're in low light situations, you will just see that cloak illuminate up, which I think looks really cool. And to unlock it, all you have to do is open that chest that you will find in each of the common rooms in Hogwarts. The chest requires 16 different tokens to unlock it and you will find these tokens scattered throughout Hogwarts. To begin this quest, you just have to locate Nelly Ogspire, who is a Gryffindor student, and you will find her in the astronomy wing with the closest flu flame being the Transfiguration classroom. You will find her here during the day just in the courtyard as you can see here. She will tell you there is a bunch of cabinets around Hogwarts and they are opened by Dedalian keys which are basically keys that fly around and once you find them they will lead you to the cabinet. She will tell you the location of the first one which is in the astronomy tower just here. It's pretty basic as you have a waypoint to get you here but once you're here you will find the Dedalian key and you just have to follow it down the stairs and it will lead you into the astronomy room just here. Not only does using the spell Revelio make following the Dedalian key much easier as it's easier to see, it also makes finding the cabinet a lot easier as well. Unlocking the house cabinet is pretty easy to be honest. You just need a little bit of patience as the Dedalian key hovers around and slap it just as it flies over the key slot. There's a fairly high hitbox as well so it isn't too difficult. I think your lack of patience is probably what's going to make this a bit more frustrating. But it is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. She doesn't give you the waypoints for the rest of the keys so you have to stumble across them yourself. But in this video I'm going to show you all of the locations so you can either go through them one by one or find any of the ones that you are missing. To make life a little easier I will do a count of each of the keys up at the top left. I will also do them in order of where they are located and I will start each one from the closest possible flu flame just so you have a good reference and are able to find them really easy. So the second one will also be found in the astronomy wing and the closest flu flame is the defense against dark arts tower flame. Spawning in here you will land just here with the flu flame over your right shoulder. From here you just want to run down the staircase here then down the staircase take a right and then down again into the staircase and you will see the Dedalian key just there behind the skeleton. And once you have it located, all you have to do is just follow it. It will run down here and then just run up the staircase. And then hang a little quick left and follow this down here and you will find the cabinet just here. Next, we will be going to the library annex building and the closest flu flame is the potions classroom. When you spawn in, you should see the double doors there in front of you and the flu flame is just back there where you can see it there in the wall. So from here, just walk in through the doors and the Dedillion key is literally just there to your left. Just follow it down the staircase here. And then you will see the cabinet just in front of you. Staying in the library annex, but this time coming from the central hall flu flame. This is the first of two from this location. Just run down the steps here to the statue of the unicorn, then hang a right, and then run down these steps, and you will see the Dedillion key on your left. Once it's got your attention, it will just run across the hall here right past the unicorn statue and down these steps and to the right. Again staying in the library annex and at the same flu flame, the central hall. But this time instead of going down the steps, you're just going to go to your left and run up the staircase there. At the top you want to take another flight of stairs up and then another and when you get to this section just run past the final staircase there and you will find the Dedillion key just underneath that stairwell. When you're following it it's going to dart left just here but it will stay on the floor just below so hang a right here and you will find the cabinet just nestled in here. 
This is the last one in the library annex and you'll be going to the flu flame called the library. From here, you just want to run down the section just here and just keep an eye on your right hand side and you will see the Daedalian key in amongst the bookcases. When you follow it, it will just uh, fly backwards to where you were and down to the back left corner. And that is where you will find the cabinet. So moving over to the bell tower wing, we will be going to the bell tower courtyard. From this location here, you can see the flu flame behind us. You just want to run up the staircase here and through this door. From here, you want to run up the stairwell and you will see the Dedillion key just here. And then all you have to do is follow it up the stairs and it will lead you towards the cabinet. Again, staying in the bell tower wing and going from the bell tower courtyard flu flame, you will again be going up the stairs just here and through the single doorway. But this time you'll be hanging a quick left and running down the stairs just here and just make your way down into the dungeon. When you come up to this dragon statue here, you will see the Dedalian key just hovering about and then you just want to follow it back. Just retrace your steps uh, around the horse ornament here and then up the steps again and you will see the cabinet just here. Again, staying in the bell tower wing and from the same flu flame, which is the bell tower courtyard, you're going to be going up the stairs again through the door and hang a quick left. Follow the path down into the dungeons just like you did for the previous one. When you get to the statue, hang a right and you will see the Dedalian key just hovering about just here. Just follow it down the corridor, hang a left just before the stairs and follow it down here and you will see the cabinet just here. Next we'll be going over to the Grand Staircase and the Flu Flame is the Grand Staircase Tower. From this location just here, just run down the Grand Staircase just like so. You'll come to this door, again just keep going down the staircase. And just at this section here, you will come across the Dalian key just hovering about. You can see it just there. Again, just follow it down this staircase. When you get to this cross, just go left and again go down the staircase. Keep going down. And when you get to this section here, just push through and take a right and just run past the puzzle door and you will see the cabinet just here. Next, we're going to go over to the Great Hall and we'll be going to the flu flame called the Great Hall. The first one is pretty easy here. Just run over and you will see it by the fireplace just over there. Once it sees you, it's going to dart over here, just left of the door and up this little alley just here and up the stairs, you will find the cabinet just there. Again, starting from the Great Hall flu flame called the Great Hall. From here, you just want to go backwards to these double doors here, run down the hall through these double doors and run through again and this run through the final double doors here and you will see the Dillion key just outside. From here, just follow it down, hang a left on the stairs and then follow it down the other staircase and you will see the cabinet just here. Again, from the flu flame called the Great Hall within the Great Hall, you just want to run through the western doors here which just started to load a bit more for me later game on a PS5 as well. 
From here, once you get through the door, you just want to take a right and just run down the steps and through the archway. Once you get through the archway, you will find the Dillion key just here. And you just want to follow it down these steps. And when you get down to the bottom, you just want to follow around like this and then just follow it down this alley and you will find the cabinet just here at the end of it. For the next key, we will be going to the South Wing building and we will be going to the flue flame called the Faculty Tower. For this, you will have to have unlocked the spell Alahamora, which is unlocked by completing a mission given by Mr. Moon during the autumn season. This door here is unlocked while doing that mission and during the day, you'll be able to just run up here casually, run up this flight of stairs here, and you will see the Dillion key just in this section here near the puzzle doors. From here, you just want to backtrack and follow it down the staircase again. and you will see the cabinet just here. Next key is also in the south wing and again from the flue flame, the faculty tower. You wanna make your way down this corridor past Mr. Loom through those doors. Again, you will need to have already unlocked the spell Alahamora to unpick that lock. Then just run up all the flights of stairs like you can see here. On the top landing, hang a right up these stairs here and then up the spiral staircase here. Once you get to the top here, you will see the cabinet just there and you will find the Dillion key down here in the hallway. It will just back travel the way you came and it will go back to the cabinet I showed earlier. The final Dedillion key is at the South Wing building and the closest flue flame to get you here is the Clock Tower Courtyard. When you spawn in, you just run over here to this door. Again, you will have to have unlocked the spell Alahamora and you will be able to pick the lock. Once you have the lock picked, just make your way up the stairs. And once you get through these doors, you will see the Dillion key just floating over here. To get to where the cabinet is, just run up the stairs again. And then on the top landing, just go left and you will see the cabinet just over here. Once you have all 16, you will get a little notification and you will get a little icon on the chest, which is back at your house common room. All you have to do then is slot in your 16 house tokens and you will open the chest to unlock your house cloak. This is definitely one of my favorite cloaks in the game and I think this litter one just looks really, really cool. But let me know in the comments which house you are in and are you going to or have you already gotten this cloak and what do you think of it? If you found this video useful, why not leave a little like or a little comment, helps me out. And if you want to see more videos like this, why not consider subbing up? It's free and it helps me out as well. All right, people, catch you in the next video.